Hi, it's me, Rashi the Coach, and welcome to this, the November issue of Catch the Coach, your newsletter for success and fulfillment. And you might possibly be hearing fireworks that will be going off throughout this recording. And it's kind of appropriate. Today I'm recording this on the 5th of November. No, remember, remember the 5th of November, which here is actually um, all about fireworks celebration. Kind of funny background to the actual celebrations, but we'll leave that for another time. But what is apt about it is that at this time of the year, the tail end of the autumn, just before we head into the winter, which is all about change, and it's also not just about change, but it's also a time of the year that's synonymous with giving thanks and gratitude. And that is the theme that I'm picking up for this newsletter today. So um, first of all, just um, I just really want to touch on, on the power of gratitude before I even get into the news items. You know, gratitude is one of those qualities that will change your life overnight. If you start off by being mindful about what you already have in your life and the things that are already in place, it will change your life overnight, being accepting, being appreciative, being grateful. And in fact, that's our tip for the month. Instead of focusing on what it is that you perceive that you lack, wake up each morning focusing on what are the things that you actually have. It will make you feel more fulfilled, it will help you feel more, more resourceful and far more in tune and far more able to do the things that you need to do and far more happy and joyful too. So that's our tip for the month. In terms of the news and events, just a couple of things to flag up. Actually, um, the 13th to the 19th of November is Global Entrepreneurship Week. So it's a whole week um, dedicated to helping you if you want to start your own business, be your own boss. And there's a whole host of events. If you just do an internet search for Global Entrepreneurship Week, you'll find all sorts of events. As you know, I'm the life and business coach partner to the British Library's Business and IP Centre. They've got a whole host of events um, going on. Just going to mention one of them, Brit um, Business Startup Day which is 13th of November, a whole day full of stuff that's going to help you with everything from business ideas, business planning, research, marketing, social media and so on. I'll be running a networking session. There's heaps of stuff to help you throughout that day. So that's the 13th of November. Um, I'm also involved in an event called um, Books Mean Business. So if you've ever been dreaming of writing a book, um, this is your moment. It's a special speed mentoring event. Myself and some other experts will be there. And I'm going to post a link here of the event star at the British Library so you can see some of those other events. Okay, in terms of other events, my networking for success events, you've got two last opportunities to catch that this year, um, the 7th of November and the 5th of December. Um, and speaking of events, that 5th of December event is your last opportunity in 2017 to catch my Soul Trader event. So Soul Trader here in its um, fifth year, join me for, for that event, which is really going to help you to build your business your own way by following your heart. Right, next up, harvest time in your life. No, so it's time in terms of the autumn that is synonymous with the harvest. But what about in your own life? You know, you may well be at a time in your life where actually you were quite experienced. You might have got quite a lot of experience under your belt. There might have been a lot of stuff that you've seen. But sometimes it is um, the case that we kind of overlook this. So first of all, in what ways is it that your life is already um, rich and bountiful? Open a document, call it accomplishments. I have to get my clients to do this and list all the things that you've achieved. It's going to help you to be really, really mindful and again, feel kind of resourceful. What are all the things you've achieved and what are the challenges that you've kind of overcome? Um, and spend time thinking about what are the contacts and connections that you have, how is it that you could continue to help each other for mutual benefit. And again, that ties in with my networking for success event, but who are the people in your life? How is it that you can help each other in your life? Very often people are very, very well connected, but yet they feel very um, as though they're quite alone and isolated because they often don't spend that time on deeper, what I call deeper networking, connecting, finding out where each other is at and seeing how you can help each other. What are the opportunities there that is that you could reap or sow? Um, you know, be mindful about that. And where are the long hang, low hanging fruit in your life and your career? You know, sometimes that we're so busy forging out new opportunities, we forget those opportunities that might be growing in your own garden. Where are the things that are near and present that you could spend some time on? And it actually might be also about you pausing, stepping back, because sometimes it's only that stepping back that you can see that that's already there. That leads us beautifully on for that. Um, tip of the month, which I mentioned, starting off by focusing on what it is that you have rather than what it is you perceive that you lack. The last of my themes in the newsletter is really about thanks. Thanks and other kind feedback. You know, people are taught, isn't it, um, please and thank yous when you're a kid. But um, who are the people that you could say a few thank yous to who've been helpful to you recently, at home or in work? 
personally and family, friends. Take that time to say those thank yous. Are there some people in your life that you could give some supportive time and feedback to also? Think about those people. How is that you could help them? And just give them some really rich feedback. And finally, are there other people that you could just spend a little bit of time or give an additional helping hand to? Is there somebody who's going through something perhaps at the moment and perhaps half an hour with you would be really, really useful? So that's about thank yous and giving kind feedback. On that note, I want to thank you for being here, for being a reader, either of the physical copy of this newsletter that you can get via going to my website and signing up or just by watching the video um, version of that here. Finally, my quote for the month, which you may have seen if you're on things like Instagram and um, LinkedIn. Intelligence is seeing the ups, down cycles, patterns and the game of life. Wisdom is not being played or player, but being at one with life, dancing with life, being full of life, in flow of life, glad to be alive. And on that note, I want to thank you very much. All the best for the month ahead. Take good care. Bye-bye.